Happy Saturday. How you doing? I want to talk to you today about why I get so many prayers answered. Why I get so many prayers answered. If you get a hold of this, you can do the same thing. Or I can tell you how to get prayers answered. I know how to get prayers answered. It's, for me, it's not hard. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. Do you say that every day? Talk like that. Say good things about you, about yourself. I'm a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Because I'm available and everything always works out for me. Somebody just told me today, they said, I don't have anybody else to call. Praise God, they've got somebody here. I'm always here for you. If you're a partner of this ministry, I am always here here for you. And I get results. That's amazing. It's amazing. Share this video with everybody you know. Nobody needs to be sick and broke as long as I'm here. As long as I'm here, there's no reason for anybody to be sick or broke. I can get you healed. I can get you blessed. I can get curses off your life. Devils out of your life. I can deal with things in your life in the spiritual realm or in the natural realm. Amen. I've just always been able to do this. There's just, there was, a, as a, was an anointing that came over me three weeks after I got saved. I know God anointed me with spiritual gifts. And it was the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, and the gift of faith. And I've been getting, seeing miracles, miracles have followed me ever since. And that was decades and decades and decades ago. Wherever I go, whoever I talk to, people get healed off their deathbeds. People get prayers answered. Incredible number of people who just get a prayer answered. What is it that you need? What is it that you want? There's a place to call. If you believe that God can do it, I can make it happen for you. Do you know that prayer requires faith? Fact number one, in order to get a prayer answered, Jesus said in Mark eleven twenty four, he said, whatsoever, he says here, he says, therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. That's faith. Believe that you receive them in today's vernacular, I, we would say, expect to get it. Expect to get it. And believe me, when I pray with somebody, I expect results. If you're just looking for somebody to pray with you, there's lots of pray, people to call, to call. Lots of places to call. Or you can get on somebody's website and fill out the form. But if you want to get answers to those prayers... You really want to get a prayer answered, then you should call me. Because I can do it. Let me ask you a question. Could Jesus get prayers answered for people? The answer is yes, of course. Well, Jesus said that which he did, did we can do also. We should be able to get prayers answered for people. Yet very few people can but I can. And I do it. I do it the way it says to do it in the Bible. 
Hannah. I talk about Hannah and Eli all the time. Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1 prayed for probably 20 to 30 years about having a baby. No answer. No answer. Until she ran into Eli, the priest. He was her pastor. He thought she was drunk. Why are you so upset? She said, I'm pouring out my spirit before the Lord. He said, go in peace. The God of Israel give you what you want. That's all he said. And her prayer was answered. He made it happen with his words. The Bible very clearly says, and what is it? Uh, Job 22, verse 28, I think. It says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. That is to declare something. Eli didn't ask God to give Hannah a baby. He didn't even ask her what she was praying about. He just declared that whatever it was, God would do it for her. And God did. Now, did Eli have the authority to commit God to doing something like that? Well, apparently he did. Because it worked. And it's been working for me for over 30 years doing the same thing. Same exact thing. I'm not doing anything that's new. I didn't, I didn't think of this all by myself. Huh? No. The Lord showed me how to do it. And then come to find out that somebody else beat me to it. For a while, I thought I was onto something that nobody else had ever done until I really took a good look at 1 Samuel and I see that way back there, probably, oh, probably close to almost 3,000 years ago, almost 3,000 years ago, that Eli did the same thing. He did the same thing. It worked for him, and it works for me. I get prayers answered when nobody else can get them answered. I get people healed that are dying. Kidneys shut down, liver shuts down. I get them healed. Why? Because of the power in the name of Jesus. Lately, I've even gotten some people blessed who were full of doubt and unbelief and were even speaking it. And I'm telling you what, Mary and I are amazed that this has been happening. And one person in particular was really confessing doubt and unbelief. And yet they got what they needed. And Mary said to me, when we heard about this, on the way home, she said to me, she says, did that increase your faith in what the name of Jesus can do? I said, you know what? I said, I am never, it never, the power of the Holy Spirit and the name of Jesus never ceases to amaze me. I didn't know somebody like that could, could get anything from the Lord. But they did. Because my faith in the name of Jesus overcame their doubt and unbelief. And them speaking it. I guarantee you they won't speak doubt and unbelief anymore. Because they truly saw the power of God. Truly saw the power of God. We have gotten people healed who had no faith at all. 
none. We get people get prayers answered. Why do I get prayers answered? Simply because I expect God to answer prayers. Did you know that faith is transferable? That you can actually use somebody else's faith to get your prayers answered? People use my faith all the time to get their prayers answered. You can use my faith. If you're a partner with this ministry, if you're hooked in with me and, and you got my phone number, you can call me and use my faith. But once I speak over you and speak to your situation, please, that's the end of it. Just be quiet because it will work. What I say will work, especially if you stop fussing. Don't be fussing. Well, Pastor Jim, you just don't understand. Right, 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 right. Believe me, I understand. I understand you ain't got no faith. But miss it. But sometimes I can get it done for you anyway. Huh? And increasingly, my faith is getting so strong in this that my faith is overcoming people's doubt and unbelief. I'm growing in faith, folks. I, I don't know where this is going. But we've been talking about the name of Jesus for the last six, seven, eight months on Wednesday night. And my faith in that name has gone up incredibly. It's gone up to a whole different level. We're seeing stuff now we've never seen before happen. Because my faith in the name of Jesus has gotten so much stronger there is so much power in that name. And, and I just know when I use that name, what I say is going to happen. And my faith for that has gotten stronger and stronger. I mean, I, I got a call from, a, from somebody who had their friend call me whose son had been in a horrific motorcycle accident. I've been talking about this. Doctor said he couldn't live, but I declared he would, and he did. Everything in the natural said that boy could not live. But the power in the name of Jesus put life back into him when his body was shattered beyond the capacity to live. That doesn't matter to the Lord. There's so much power in his name. So much power. And when we get a hold of this, when we understand this power, it's an incredible thing. And we can use it to get God's people blessed and to get God's people healed. And that's what I do. I wanna, nobody should be sick. God, ne God never meant for anybody to be sick. Jesus redeemed us from sickness. He redeemed us from poverty. You're not supposed to be sick and broke. But sometimes it takes the power in the name of Jesus to move you from sickness into health and to move you from poverty into abundance. But the name of Jesus can do it. You call me, I'll prove it to you. I'm always ready. About, I, I brag about the Lord. Paul bragged about the Lord. He said, I boast. My boast is in the Lord. He said, well, my boast is in the Lord too. And I know there is no impossibilities with God. Let me tell you folks, whatever it is you're facing, there's no impossibilities. Call me today. Especially, call me if you did your offerings and donations this weekend because I want to speak God's blessing over you and use the name of Jesus to activate it. Oh my goodness. Is this amazing stuff? It is. I'm not the only one that can do this probably, but I'm the only one who's available. So call me. I'll prove to you God's word works. <laughs>